Hey, welcome back to the channel. So today is going to be kind of a tutorial video and it's one that a lot of people have asked for and that is how I record my Chromebook screen for some of the Chromebook videos I do. Now the method that I use requires external hardware. I will have a link down in the description to a few pieces of hardware that I've tried that have worked very well with this. There's also some software options. I have never had good luck with any of the software options. So I recommend using one of the hardware options that I'm gonna show you in this video. Now the method I use is using an external capture card. Now these are called capture cards, even though they're boxes. I think that's kind of a legacy name from when they used to be cards that would go inside your PC and be upgrade cards that way. Now you can still get them like that, but a lot of them are these external boxes that basically you hook your video out to and either hook them to another computer or insert an SD card and just record what's on your screen. Now there's two devices that I use regularly. That's the Avermedia Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus and the Elgato HD60S. Now I use these for two different reasons and I'll get into that in just a minute, but essentially the setup for these is the same from the Chromebook to the device. It's from the device that it's a little bit different for these two, but I'll go over both of those as well. Now, most Chromebooks do not have an HDMI out, so how do we get our video out? Well, what I do is I have a little USB-C adapter, has USB-C on one end, and then it has some USB type A ports on it. And most importantly, it has an HDMI port. So I plug that into the USB-C port on my uh, Chromebook, and then I hook my HDMI cable up to the capture card, whether it's the HD60S or the Aver Avermedia capture card and then I either hook it to the PC or put a card in there to do my capture. But that is how I get the video out. I go USB-C to an adapter, HDMI to the capture box. So now we got our video to the box and the way we record that video is dependent on the type of capture card that you're using. So with the HD60S and the Avermedia also has this capability, you just hook a USB cable to a USB on a machine that you're going to record on. On that machine, you also load software such as um, OBS, or you can use the software that's provided by the manufacturer. Once you load up OBS, you can add a device to a scene, add that capture card, whether it's the HD60S or the Avermedia, they're both going to show up as a capture device. Add it in there, you'll see it pop up on the screen and then you can go ahead and hit the record button and anything you do on your Chromebook will be displayed on that other PC and recorded through OBS. So that's the one way to do it using a PC. Now, depending on the capture card you have, you can also do it without having to have a second PC involved and that is where the Avermedia comes in. Now with that one, you can put a micro SD card in, set it to a, a, basically a tetherless recording mode and hit the button on the top of the device and it'll start recording everything that you're doing on your Chromebook. Then when you're done, you hit the button again, it'll stop recording and then you can take that SD card and load it onto the computer and edit those files to your heart's content. If you recorded it on a secondary computer, obviously you'll have to copy those files over from that secondary computer to your editing machine and use them that way. But in either way, you end up with a video file that you can load into your favorite editor and edit those videos, it works really well. Now, as I mentioned before, there's also some software that's available that lets you record your Chromebook screen. I have had no luck with these at all. I did not care for them. I would definitely, definitely recommend going the hardware route. Check out some of the devices I have linked below. They're really inexpensive and you can use pretty much any machine to do this capture. You don't need a real powerful machine to do the capture or just record it to the SD card. Uh, with the Avermedia and you don't even have to worry about having another machine. So hopefully you found this useful and informative. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you really liked it, subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave those down in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for stopping by.